This right here is a vegan meatball gyro with tzatziki sauce. And I didn't go to a shop to pick it up. I made it right here at home. Healthy vegan style using no oil, no wheat, no refined sugar. Want to know how I did it? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make your own. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make our veggie meatballs. And to do that, we need some veggie ground. Now, this is my veggie ground. And out of all the recipes I have on IG, it is the most popular by far. It's much healthier than anything you're going to find in a grocery store. Fake meats in the grocery store are full of saturated fat, sodium, oil, all kind of additives. This is healthy superfoods. This is the way to go. Now to bond this into the meatballs, I'm going to use some chickpea flour as well as some ground flaxseed. So let's get started on that. Of all the ingredients I've experimented with for bonding these veggie meatballs, the combination of chickpea flour and ground flax is my favorite because it holds together really well without making the mixture too sticky. Okay, so now I've got everything mixed. Now we're just going to roll them into some nice sized veggie meatballs. So I'm going to roll my veggie meatballs pretty large, but you can roll yours any size that you like. Notice how the mixture is holding together really well without cracking or falling apart. This is why I like the chickpea flax combo so much for recipes like this. So now we have our meatballs in the oven and while they're cooking, we're going to put together our tzatziki sauce. And we're going to start by grating a cucumber and chopping up some dill. So today instead of a regular cucumber, I'm using this European cucumber. I prefer the European because it has less seeds and exudes less water. And that's perfect for a recipe like this, where I want to drain out all the extra liquid. All right, so normally when you make tzatziki, we use yogurt. But instead of using yogurt, we're going to use cashews. And cashews will get nice and creamy, and to add the tartness, we're going to add some lemon juice and some apple cider vinegar. Now I'm combining all the ingredients for my tzatziki sauce in my blender. Now you could use water for the sauce, but instead of wasting this healthy cucumber juice, I'm going to use it instead of the water. This will also add a little more flavor to the recipe, which is perfect. Then it's just a matter of combining all my ingredients really well until the sauce is nice, creamy, and smooth. Okay, so we're just about done with our tzatziki sauce. All we have left to do is to add our shredded cucumber and then some fresh dill, and it's done. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. All right, so now we have our tzatziki sauce finished and it looks really nice. The consistency is good. Um, but of course, taste is the main thing that you want. You want the taste to be right. So let's give it a little taste here. Mmm, very good. All right, so now let's finish it up by putting it all together. Now for the fun part, assembling the sandwich. Now I'm starting with my healthy vegan soft flatbread. If you'd like to see the recipe for how to make this soft flatbread, then tap on the link in your upper right hand corner. So I used tzatziki sauce as my bottom layer. Then I'm adding some chopped tomato, my meatballs, some more sauce, red onion, and that's a wrap. Okay, so here's the finished result. We got a vegan meatball gyro with tzatziki sauce. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try it right now, see how it tastes. Mmm, this is so good, so good. 